Uh, also nice, a once-in-a-lifetime experience in their reach. Omaha South Marching Band faces, faced an uphill climb the past two months, trying to raise enough money to get to Washington, D.C. so they can represent Nebraska in next year's Memorial Day Parade. They recently received some very good news. KETV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravelin explains. The trumpets blaring, their cymbals crack. The Omaha South Marching Band, invited to participate in the Memorial Day Parade next May in Washington, D.C., will officially be in attendance. To be able to tell the kids, you're going on this trip, and not only that, but we're going to add an extra day. The band earned their invite, auditioning with seven other Nebraska schools. But band director Joe Homan knew they faced funding issues if they qualified. To hear about $90,000 is like a... A, a huge shock factor. Nearly nine out of ten South students are at or below the poverty line. And with the trip estimated to cost each student around $900, Homan acted quickly, posting this GoFundMe page, a page that has raised now nearly $30,000. Donors pitched in the other 60K, and the goal was met. A goal Susie Mahoney wasn't sure they'd reach. No, I did not believe it. <laughs> when I sat down and I crunched the numbers, I thought, how are we going to do this? And this trip isn't just about the music, as our nation's capital presents a plethora of educational opportunities. Kids can sit and they can read about these types of places in a textbook, but that's not reality. Monuments, museums, and music. For one week next spring, the Omaha South Marching Band gets an opportunity they'll never forget, thanks to a community that pulled together for them. Everybody who has made a donation needs to know that they are definitely making a difference in the life of a child. Reporting in Omaha, Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7. Such great news. And as we told you last night, any extra that they have collected, they are then donating to other groups as well. Well, the trip will run May 26th through June 1st. And in addition to seeing the monuments and a few museums, the group will also visit Mount Vernon, home to our first president, George Washington.